Peace, peace, peace. Welcome to the Scrap and Roll MMA podcast. I'm your host, Sky. What's up? This is Damien. Jason the Building. Yes, yes. We are back another week, another week of amazing fights. This upcoming fight card is looking absolutely ridiculous. Have you guys checked it out yet? That's a banger of a card to end the year off, too. I mean, it's not the last card of the year, but I feel like this is probably the best card before the end of the year. It's definitely the best fight night. Cause fight night, for sure, yeah. Yeah, and it's probably This is because, one you don't want to miss. Absolutely, and it's probably because it's in Orlando, like rather than it being at the Apex, like it's absolutely stacked. Pretty sure that everybody has already heard by now that UFC 282, the main card has shifted. Yuri Prohaska's mm-hmm. out of it, and now we have Ankalaev versus... Yawn. No one's excited for that. Are you like, Limp how do you guys feel? Limp dick on prom night. Limp dick on prom nope. night. As soon as I heard it come through, I'm just like, ah, please. I, I hope this means that I end up with tickets. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny that you said that. Yeah, that's pretty much that's all that me. I'm hoping it's for. It's just like the definition of anticlimactic. We'll see how that'll play out. But this weekend, we do have your boy, Kevin Holland, taking on... Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, and what a card it is. Who are you guys most excited to see on this card? I don't know. There's too many names. <laughs> There's so many names. I'm really looking forward to seeing Angela Hill fight. Angela's on this card? Damn. I think so. I think. Let's go. Oh, yeah, they got her on a yep, prelims. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. Michael Johnson, yeah. bruh. There's so many good fights. Like, I, it's hard for me to choose. For me, it's 100% Steven, the karate boy, Thompson. Just uh, to see that fucking level of striking against someone who is foolish enough to try to stand and bang. Yo, your boy, Kevin Holland, is going to have a one-way ticket to Dream World. Nah, you tripping. <laughs> nah, nah, not Kevin Holland. Kevin Holland, he's going to be in there, bro. It's going to be a good fight. And I don't see him getting stopped like that. I really don't. If Steven wins, it's going to be like a point contest. But when I Steven got Kevin wins. Holland. I got Kevin Holland, KO, and Steven Thompson. And then it's Yo, listen, for Steven Thompson. listen. You know that <laughs> you're not supposed to drink the bong water, right? You pour it out. <laughs> hey, that's how I see it happening, bro. I've I been seeing some crazy things in this sport. You can't count anything out. Hey, that's facts, but on some real shit, it's not a chance. For him to stand we'll in with Stephen Thompson, it's we'll not going to happen. We'll see, bro. How this confident is a, you are. A, I'm pretty confident in this because Kevin Holland's a pretty long, lengthy fighter that's going to stand toe-to-toe with Stephen Thompson. I feel like I feel like he would try to like wrestle and clinch him, but then at the same time, Kevin Holland's the type of nigga that really don't give a fuck, so I feel like he would <laughs> stand in bang and try it. So either way, I'm excited for this one. This one's going to be a, a super dope, fun fight to watch for sure. But yeah, Kevin Holland taking that W via KO, TKO. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> Dimitri. Yo, what's good? What's good? Yo, I'm it's telling just, you. It's laughable. You got to stop. You're going to be heartbroken. You're going to be heartbroken come Saturday <laughs> when Kevin Holland gets the win. Damn. Listen, this has been a year of heartbreaks already. Fortunately, this won't be one of them. Stephen Thompson can put them hands on him. Kevin, this is, what's, this is how the fight's going to play out. Your boy Kevin's going to try to bang, you know what I'm saying? Think, oh, I got this. And then, bloop, 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 bloop. Once I mean, he becomes a Pez head, you know what I'm saying? He's going to realize he don't want the smoke. <laughs> then going to try to clinch. All right. And then one time he tries to clinch, he's going to take a knee to the face. One, two, three, TKO. That's how you see it? That's how you see it, huh? <laughs> Big facts. Run it. Bet the house. Listen. Oh, I like the optimism. I like the optimism. <laughs> I feel like you're really trying to downplay Kevin Holland. Like, he really don't deserve to be in here fighting. Hey, that's Mr. 2020. Nah. Kevin Holland is Mr. 2020. Is hey, don't worry about it. You about to find out. <laughs> You are about to find Listen, he's out. about to catch these hands. He's about to catch these hands. I cannot wait. Christmas is going to come early with this fight. Real shit. Listen, let's just talk about some statistics that, like, if you just start looking at them objectively, it helps when it comes to who you're leaning towards. So 65% <clears throat> of the time, the younger fighter wins. Who's the younger fighter? Kevin Holland, right? 70% mm. of the time, the person with the longer arm reach wins. Who has a longer arm reach? 
Kevin Holland. Now those things, mm. obviously it's just a percentage, but it puts it into perspective, like just how things can work out. So for me, like just thinking about that, like when I really start looking at those facts, like I, I, I got to lean towards Kevin Holland. Kevin Holland been for active sure. too. That boy stay active. Yes. Ain't no ring, ain't no ring rest with Kevin Holland. Well, I'm going to quote Uncle Chell here on a couple of things. One, reach don't mean shit, right? Because people in MMA, except John Jones, don't know how to use reach. I feel like Kevin has gotten better. I feel like Kevin's gotten better with controlling his uh, reach, like being able to use it since he went down to 170. What is the actual reach difference? Six inches. That's what she said. (laughs) <laughs> I haven't seen, <laughs> I wish I knew what six inches looked like. <laughs> See, on a quick side note, you know, I'm black and Asian. These girls, they get this false advertising. They see the black drop trial. They get the Asian. This man, <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> Just say What about Song Yedong? <laughs> Song Yedong, best a name there is. So yeah, and also Ring Rust, I mean... Shout out to uh, Dominic Cruz. Ring rust is not a real thing. Let's not talk about his last fight before you say something. Yes, but at the <laughs> same time, if we just think about Stephen Thompson and then you consider Kevin Holland, Kevin Holland does, like Damien was saying, have the ability to grapple and wrestle here. He may not want to, but if, it, if he's getting pieced apart, hey, pride goes out the window. Yeah, but he's not that dominant grappler all of a sudden like he's just going to turn it on. Like Stephen Thompson, yes, he's been getting grappled down by lifelong grapplers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. You... Yeah, I don't think Kevin Holland would have that control time or anything, but I feel like it would gas him out, gas Thompson out. He won't be as light on his feet. He won't be moving as much. I don't know, man. I just see Kevin Hart I mean, Kevin Holland shooting up. You can see up the little ass Kevin Hart. I see Kevin Holland shooting up the rankings, man. He is a dark horse in the division. People are counting him out. Where does Kevin like, Holland especially succeed? That last fight. In this fight, where hmm? do you think Kevin Holland succeeds? I think he succeeds with the hands. I think he's going to, I think his hands are going to outbox Stephen Wonderboy's kicking. I, go ahead. I can see that you're just <laughs> fuming. Please just. Yeah, I think he's just going to have to walk him down, put Steven against the cage, and start with the pepper end of the punches. That's what I was going to say. I don't want to see Kevin Holland out in the open with range because that's where Steven Thompson is just elite with having room to be able to move around. And But I think Kevin, I think his success will be in the clinch, like up against the cage, trying mm. to... Because I, it's just hard for me to be able... If Kevin Holland goes out there and like outstrikes Steven Thompson... That would be nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, you know what like, else would be nuts? Like, point like, like it'd be crazy if, if I, like, won the lottery tonight. Like, that'd be crazy. That'd be nuts. Stop it. Y- y'all y'all are speaking on Kevin Holland like like he's just about to ragdog Stephen Thompson. Like, he's not a clinch fighter. No, I don't think he's going to ragdoll him. But I think he is going to get the TKO or KO. I yeah. think that is going to happen. I don't think that he's a clinch fighter, but there has to be a game. Like, these are the things that I would see that they would need to add to their game plan. Going out and standing in the middle and banging with Steven Thompson is not a part of the game plan. And if it is, you're going to get fucked up. (laughs) Straight Mm -hmm. up. That can't be a part of the game plan. I think for me, the biggest thing I just think about is just like, how many ways do you have to win the fight? Kevin Holland is not about to just grapple and wrestle and take down Stephen Thompson. That's not in his repertoire. Oh, stop it. It might not be, but you could be surprised. <laughs> you yeah. could be surprised. He could he could do some what? standing guillotine type shit. He could maybe he could do a little tie trip or some shit. Like, I don't know. I don't see him doing that stuff, but in the MMA bro, I don't count nothing out these days. For real. For we'll real. We'll see what's up with it. Definitely. I mean also on the same car Brian Barberina versus Dos Anjos. That's just going to be a banger of a fight. Wow, look at the odds. Brian is a plus 420 dog. Damn. Sounds about right. Hey, Who did he y'all fight see... last? I uh, feel like we just saw him fought not too yeah, long ago. Yeah, he just fought. Come on. Ruthless Robbie Lawler. Oh. Yeah, got him out of there. And then before mm. that, he fought. God, it was such a good fight, too, and I'm upset that I'm forgetting it. Can't remember. But him hey. versus Robbie Lawler was at hey, National Lawler. Fight Week. He- 
I remember that one. Robbie Lawler was like started piecing him up, yeah. and the dude was so adorable that Robbie Lawler started getting tired, and then dude started laying loose on him. I remember that. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was a shit. Bang. Yeah. I'm gonna so. go with Dos Anjos. I'm gonna go with Dos Anjos <laughs> via wrestling and takedown and ground and pound and just smothering him. And then Matt Schnell, I don't know if you guys remember, but the Houston card earlier this year, Matt Schnell, which is going to get probably my nod for a fight of the night, or if not fight of the year, definitely round of the year. He fought, oh man, I wish I had it up. I can't remember the guy that he fought. All I remember is he was like, Dimitri, I think I was talking to you about it before. If you can recall, like, there was, like, several, like, maybe, like, five, six elbows, like, where you thought Matt Schnell was out of there in the second round. Somehow, he's able to get it together, clear the cobwebs, and end up submitting the dude. It was absolutely yeah, insane. For sure. Yeah. What division is this? What is he ranked? Flyweight. Number seven. Number seven. Versus yeah. number six? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He was getting the break speed off okay. of him. Well, the first well, round I, I probably watched won. that fight. You definitely seen it. Like it's hard yeah. because there's been so many good fights. Like um, yeah. Jason... fighters that I'm like starting to barely even hear about. <laughs> exactly, and it's like we were talking about like next year, like the start of next year, we're gonna start keeping tallies of every fight that's happening. Could be fight of the year, round of the year, stuff like that. Because like by the time you get to December, yeah. if you haven't been keeping tallies, like you have no idea what happened. It's just ah, so okay, yeah. Yeah. It, For sure, yeah. We just want to go for every single little... So every card, write down um, the our performance of the card as well than our fucking fight of the card and then the round of the card just as an easy reference. Because let's be honest, like we were fucking blessed this year as far as so many fucking oh, yeah. just good fights. Hashtag Stone Cold. People open up a can of whoop ass on people, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. And speaking of can of whoop ass, your boy Bam Bam to Ivasa, let's go. <laughs> Shooey. Oh, Bam Bam. Bam Bam getting it done. That man a dog. I really mess with him, man. For real. He a dog. I was just going to say, I'm going to say that Bam is the second most exciting person in all of MMA. Behind your boy, Chandler. Michael Chandler's unreal. He's a fucking superhero. Five fights, <laughs> five bonuses. Since he's been in the UFC. That's crazy. Listen, people always like talk about shit. Yo, I'm going to let out on the line. I'm willing to die on my sword. Michael Chandler is about that fucking life. Yeah. For real. I respect the hell out of that. Because he'd be doing it for us. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to take that damage like that, but he'd be doing it for us. For real. Yeah, Michael. And then on top of that, spoken, family guy, and just... Oh, yeah. Like, he's enjoyable. Like, when he first came over here, like, I was not, I wasn't too, I didn't really know who he was. Like, I wasn't too keen. I was like, ah, we'll check him out. But then after that first fight with Hooker, I was like, wait a goddamn minute. Like, this, he might be that guy. And then roll into the Charles Oliveira fight, like, coming out there and doing what he did. And then ultimately end up getting finished. But that first round was, like, crazy. And then. Fireworks. Yeah, fireworks. And him and Justin Gaethje, I mean, don't got to say much. Are you showing the size of your penis? How did you know? <laughs> what were you saying? What were you trying to say? Oh, I was just like, he was so fucking close to, to, to getting Oliver out of there. You know what I mean? He just, it's just everything about him. Not to mention as well, okay, one thing I really fucking love about Uncle Chell is, and it, me and Scott, we talk about this all the time, <clears throat> the things that most mixed martial artists misses completely is fucking telling us a story. Yes. Mm -hmm. Telling us a story, making us care about you. Cut a fucking promo. Like, he is the best in the business at cutting a fucking promo. Real shit. Now that uh, there used to be a fighter by the name of Connor, but I mean, I don't even know what he's doing besides <laughs> Jamba Juice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Connor's huge. I don't know him that well. Apparently, you do. I just seen a video of him today, and I was like, wow. Like, that man's not making 155 again. Like, when's he going to make? Like, nah, he's got to be at 170. No there's okay, no so yes or no, is he on Jamba Juice? Uh, I would say yes, definitely. He, he got <laughs> out the why? testing Cause, pool? Yeah. Because he, cause he had a damn broken leg, bro. I think they give you steroids to heal faster, you know? And he ain't, he ain't even trying to hide it. <laughs> <laughs> what did they do? I said they all on steroids, bro. They hey. all on steroids. And that boy, boy he be hot jacked. all the time. 
like Connor is high all the time on Instagram, like doing wild shit. Like I would always mm. send Damien shit. Like, look at your boy. What is he doing? Right. Like him when eating the ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Him eating ice cream. I can still go back to that video right now and just laugh because it's so funny. Like he was blazed out of his mind. Uh, and then yeah, hilarious. like getting head on the yacht. Like what are we like? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Hey, what they always say, crack is a powerful drug. Hey. <laughs> yeah, he's living his best life. And honestly, it's it just gets to the point to where it's like, you don't have to come back. Like, why come back at this point? Like, you can just continue to live your best life. You got a whole bunch of businesses, you know, because if he comes back, okay, let's say he comes back, they're saying that it could be against Chandler. And he loses to Chandler. That's not... That's bad, that's bad for business, bro. That's bad. <laughs> Like that's bad for business. And, bad for business. And Chandler I don't think he has loses power. to Chandler though. I don't think he loses to Chandler. I think he's I think Jace was talking about people not knowing their range and shit. I feel like Connor is a master at his range. And he is and facts. Chandler being as small as he is, I feel like Connor would actually piece him up, honestly. I think Connor's best play is to give Triple H a call. Can you imagine Connor and the WWE? Oh my god. God. Bruh, that'd be nuts. WWE I'm surprised he, they haven't even talked roof. about that yet. WWE will go through the roof. I've yeah, never... I, I'm I haven't sure watched they would it. have more fans now. Oh, yeah. I would watch. And I have not watched, I but watch I would just want to see what the hell is Connor going to do. Like... <laughs> For real. You imagine, yeah. like, the Connor and The Rock doing a promo in the ring together? Oh, my God. Can you smell... <laughs> I want I want to see The Rock just one more time, like now in WWE, because like back in the day, I was still super young. You were beating me up and I mm -hmm. had no idea what the hell was going on. And like now it would be cool to relive some of those moments, just seeing The Rock walk out and do his little look and stuff like that. Like that would just be, that would be awesome. I'm pretty sure he came back for a little bit. Like a few he years did? ago, he came back for a little bit. I think so. Yeah. See, look at me. He I told you I don't watch in, it. Do a little guest appearance. Hmm. Do you watch WWE, cheddar, you know? Damien? I used to. I used to when I was growing up. I used to watch when John Cena first got in, when Eddie Guerrero passed away. Like, I was really big into it, but not much anymore. If anything, I'm only catching highlights now from the MMA fighters that are in, in, in the wrestling scene now. So Right. What yeah, do you think so is like the... More. What do you think is the big disconnect between MMA fans and WWE? Because WWE is, like, they have a massive, massive fan base, but, like, um, within like the MMA space, like it's like forbidden to even talk about it. Well, I think that that bridge isn't what it used to be. You know, as we know, like fucking DC gets wet every single time. You know, he has something to do with the fucking the WWE. Here's the thing. Actually, I think that MMA will never be as big as the WWE. You don't think it's as big now? Fuck no. Absolutely not. Listen, like... The WWE sells out every fucking night. They're on the road 300 days a year, selling out 20,000 seat arenas every fucking night. I don't know about every night. Are they on every night? They are in a... No, but they're in a new city every night. So, like, you know, for example, like, Monday Night Raw shot for Monday night, but they're also fucking Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all somewhere. And then their pay-per-views, their pay-per-view buys, I mean, off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure, like, WrestleMania is bigger than any UFC event ever. We got to see mm -hmm. about this. We got to yeah, see about this. Wrestling. Wrestling you know, is because... Here's the thing. This is what um, Dana White said about Vince McMahon now that they're friends now. You know, what Dana White is jealous about Vince McMahon is that, like, the thing about MMA is, like, as we know, anything can fucking happen. Right? Correct. Supposed to with the WWE, like your shit is scripted. So you always can make the guy you want to win, the guy who moved the needle the most, stay champion. If the UFC had its choice, Connor would be still the champion just because he puts the most fucking seats. You know what I'm saying? Right. So having that ability to always script things and have the champion and the outcomes you want. And yeah, we can say, well, it's the unpredictable n n n n nature that like draws people to MMA. But at the end of the day, when the Yankees are playing in the World Series, like people are going to tune in whether you love them or hate them. 
more than the right. Kansas City Royals because people don't give a fuck about Kansas City and people don't give a fuck about the Royals. Shout out to everyone in Kansas City. I do have to stop you because you're about to eat crow. Open your mouth. Let's go. 46,000 WrestleMania this year. A whopping for pay-per-view buys. Not Bullshit. even close. Not even close. Bullshit. Bullshit. Not even close. Not even There's close. There's no way. Not even close. PFL might have sold more last weekend. <laughs> There's no way. What's your source? Google. Google. <laughs> but no, yeah, I mean, it's the first thing that pops up. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, That's you wild. can look it up as well, but. I'm looking. Yeah, it's, it's, I think they definitely sell well, like in-house, like uh, WWE does well, but no, I mean, I like when you said that they were bigger than UFC, I thought that that was the hot take of the year. That's absolutely ridiculous, um, but they do well what? within their niche, niche. And also, if you think about it, you know, we like to compare it as like the male soap opera, right? WWE, like, you yeah, know, you have like, it it's is. like, it's like a soap, but there's like, you know, wrestling. But one thing that I will say, it's great storytelling, you know, and mm -hmm. one, but one thing that I will absolutely say is that although the matches are all written and they're fixed, those moves that they're doing are real. And like, in order to jump, hit somebody yeah. and they have to do practice that repetitively. You have to be is, an athlete for sure. You have to be an athlete. Like the average person is not going to get up and just go and jump off a 10, not like these cages and do it all like the shit's insane like one of our friends had like a wrestling event here locally in vegas and so we went to support it was insane like, i was like wow like i had to really like respect and these are just amateur people who are just putting stuff together but like you know they're like yeah. coordinating this and they're jumping and hitting but, and, yeah. like the sounds when they hit that mat i was like mm, it ain't plush <laughs> no nah, people really be getting fucked up in there too i'm sure all the time yeah. all the time i saw a clip on the wwe not too long ago, Logan Paul getting up on the top rope and like belly flopping on somebody. I was like, okay, I see you up there. Like he tore his know, legs he really up gotta... when, after he did that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, just recently, like when he recorded himself, yeah, tore his ACL, MCL, all that. Oh, this shit is serious. Saying, like, exactly. I'm like, nah, bro. I'll take my chances in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Facts. Going, no, you want me to do a backflip, tummy right. tuck into the what? Nah, I'm right. good. And people have actually died in the ring. Shout out to Owen Hart. Yeah. And then, so then we got Jack Hermanson. I cannot pronounce Roman's last name, but I remember he fought like Reigns. two, three weeks ago. No, not Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. Reigns. Uh, this guy that's fighting Jack Hermanson. He fought a couple weeks ago and like had like a beautiful knockout. He fought on the last pay-per-view. And Herm Hermanson did? No, Roman. Oh, Roman? Oh, okay. Yeah, he had a beautiful knockout up against the cage. Like one punch, the guy fell down like a character. And, Not like and a I character. Know, Not like a character. Like a, <laughs> it looked like, <laughs> kind of like, you know, like when you see that highlight like of John doll? Jones. Yeah, like when you see mm. uh, John Jones, like let go of Leota Machida and he just like falls. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what yeah. that is. I would say that's yeah. like ragdoll mechanics. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> absolutely terrible i'm excited to see nico i feel like we haven't seen him oh, for a while but nico price nico price versus vicente oh, luke yeah, do you remember him. those fights yeah and that's mm -hmm. when he got like the big eye like his eye swole up he was looking crazy like they were going at it facts yeah <sighs> apparently this is scott holtzman's retirement fight against clay guida probably should be clay's too like why is clay is still there like how long has clay been fighting? clay has been fighting since 2000, and fact check me on this, it's got to be since 2003. Damn, Easily. before he that's got the UFC. Too, that's too damn long. Because I want to say, how this man got a fat ass bank account or savings account from all this? Yo, all your boy does is talk about the Carpenters Union of Chicago all day, every day, <laughs> and twice on Sundays. And uh, I want to say his him? epic fight with Diego Sanchez was like in 2006. Memory yes. serves me correct. So he's been fighting like before even the UFC. Sheesh. Start rolling through his. Yeah, 2003 was his first MMA professional fight. Damn, and then I see he, Jace. And then, <laughs> right. And then he got into the UFC in 2006. But he when was, was in Strike fight, Force. His epic battle with Diego yeah, Sanchez. Pure have violence. Have you ever watched that fight? I have. 
I've done like mixes on it. Jeez, he's fought everybody. Where is it? Damien, have you ever seen that fight? I've probably seen it, but I don't remember it. I've been watching so many fights that they just come and go at this point. When I feel like catch, I one, catch a couple of highlights. One of the greatest stare downs you'll ever see in your life. Mm. Like just the <laughs> stare down alone is fucking worth bringing it up. Yeah, Him and like, Diego, what a beast. Yeah, yeah. that was 2009. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, but like the crazy thing was like like when Max pointed to the ground and was like going at it with ah oh, shit I can't think of his name right now Calvin Cater no not Calvin please. no not Cater uh, Lima yeah with Lima but like this it's like that but on steroids because they didn't, he didn't point at the ground but they literally just stood there bop 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 mm. like rocket socket <laughs> like <laughs> no the worst ever was have you all ever seen old school Pride. With your boy da Don Fry, it's Don Fry against Sakayaba, the biggest fucking Asian dude you've ever seen in your life, mm. and they literally fought oh, in the phone booth. Like I... it's one of the most epic fights that you'll ever fucking see. I'm gonna encourage everyone right now to stop what the fuck you're doing, go check out the fight. I think it's it's Don Fry, and I think it's against Sakayaba. Not the oh, not that, uh... the Gracie killer. I'm gonna have to check it out. I'll make sure that I um link it in here as well. Now this chick down here at the bottom, <clears throat> Yasmin. I just did a piece on her. You guys can check that out on YouTube. Um, she was the chick. If you guys remember UFC San Diego against there was a I think it was the co-main fight. So it was her against the Brazilian girl, and they're both named they're both named Yasmin. The San Diego fight, like it was a banger. Like I felt like she won strictly because we were in San Diego and like the fix was in for the Mexicans. But like, I felt like the Big Brazilian facts. girl got it done. Do you remember? You probably don't remember it, but if you go back and you watch no, that fight, it. it was insane. That whole fight card in San Diego was, that's another thing that we need to make sure that we look at. Like fight nights, like as a whole, because yeah. certain fight nights, like, yeah, this one was absolutely They really, they really be popping off. It really that does. San Diego fight night was fucking insanity. There was only one bad fight, and it was Cynthia Calvillo versus Nina Nunes. Sky, you were in the building that night, right? Yes. Damn. And we chanted, oh, Patty the Batty. <laughs> yeah. Speaking you started Patty, that, huh? I did start it. I did. Y'all, cause y'all I, be starting the chants, I already know. <laughs> yeah, because I, I was sitting right by where the fighters walk out. So I see, I called out, I started Patty, I started Brandon Moreno. Brandon Moreno was like a god in there. Like they were going insane for Brandon. This was like right after he had won. Yeah, this is right after he had won against your boy, Kai Kara Friends. Figaro. Yeah, that's going to happen in January. That's going to happen in January. That's happening in January? Damn, No. Brandon going to put them hands on him. Stop it. Back to back. Stop back it. To back to back to back. No way. Hey. <laughs> In Brazil, no way. And then he's going to stand there and do this. <laughs> and your boy's going to have to go up to Let's, 135. Yes. Brandon Ray will have to go to 135. Do you think Darren Till makes it next weekend? <laughs> makes it like, to, to, to the, the fight. building? To or, the fight. I mean, even if he does yeah, make the he fight, to. he's probably yeah, going to take a nap. A choice. He's probably going to take a nap. Duplicies is not to be messed with. Not to be messed with. He, he's not. Dang, Ooh. nigga. Damn, why they got Jarzinho looking so big on this picture? <laughs> that nigga, that, he is big, bro. That was a big one. Yo, that was before he fought and got new and got deflated. Oh, bro, my God. Huge. They got him looking thick. <laughs> like, he, that man he is not that look big. look like a silverback gorilla right there. He really does. <laughs> Yeah. He looks like a extra. He looks like the. He looks like what Rick Ross is aspiring to be like. Yo, Yo. they have Gustafson. They have Gustafson <laughs> versus Saint Pru on the early prelims. You guys. <sighs> Who the fuck cares? Why are you doing Gustafson like that? This is the same. This is the same fight night? No, this is UFC 282. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I was going to yeah. say. You're about to be like, now wait a goddamn minute. Hey, and let's <laughs> Bro, go ahead and make sure that sleep. we check what the time is. Oh, okay. It'll start at 7 o'clock our time. So just to make sure for this weekend. Um, But 
Yeah, I was just looking into 282 right now because I'm excited for it. The 17 year old, well, he's 18 now. Rosa is going to be making his debut next week. That's going to oh, be shit. absolutely insane. That's um, going to be dope. A piece will be coming out on him next week as well on YouTube. Because, you know, like when you're on Contender Series, they, uh, we've started doing like uh, Dana White Next Level. And so, like, we go and we follow the fighters, like, after they win or after they get a contract. Um, we'll follow them around and just, like, see their lives and stuff like that. So, it'll be good. It'll be good. Yeah. But that's I'm excited to see Bryce Metro fight. Yeah. I'm excited to see Bryce as well. It, I think Someone's it's funny that. got to go. I uh -oh. No, because that fight got canceled. That was him versus Mavrinov or something like that. I can't remember his name. Ilya has lost. So that's why they had to reschedule it for this one. But it's funny because mm. Ilya wants to fight Patty. And remember, they got into it. Patty calls him Sanitizer Boy. They got into it at London, and he threw the sanitizer at him. And because, of, because he's from Georgia, and I guess like he felt like Patty had made some kind of statement about Georgians. And yeah, so yeah, so Patty we'll don't see. Want that smoke. So let me ask y'all some real shit. Is Patty that dude, or is he getting just fucking scumbags, just to make? <laughs> okay, hey, that's a good question. But but his last fight with Jordan Levitt, yeah. I feel like Jordan Levitt was actually a good fighter. I thought he was gonna beat Patty. <laughs> Jordan was good, oh, yeah. but yeah. Jared Gordon, like a lot of the pros are saying that Jared Gordon is going to win this fight. Like a lot of people are leaning towards. I know the betting odds; they still have Patty as a favorite. But a lot of people are saying that Gordon is gonna do really well i, I think, know gordon so yeah mm. i know that he's more of heavy uh, like wrestler style i feel mm. like i don't think patty's that guy he gets touched in every fight but like i just hey, when you start but like been winning though <laughs> hey a win is a win is a win but i don't see him like doing extremely well in the top 15 because when we start looking at like the top 15 at 155 uh, he might beat Tony Ferguson, but... <laughs> is, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> is there a bigger fight that can be made in all of MMA more than Patty versus Connor? Run it. Is that not the biggest fight that Run can it. be made? Run That'll it. That'll be fun. For sure. Run in, it. Everyone trying to in listen. In Ireland, to, in England. Trying to listen to what they're saying because they both got thick-ass accents. Facts. <laughs> I want to yeah. see the press conference. That's what I want to see. Could you imagine? Well, Patty's a fucking scouser. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Scousers UK are renowned versus... in, in England for having like the second probably hardest accent to understand besides uh, Glaswegian. Shout out to everyone in Europe. Look at you with the facts. Yeah, I don't see yeah. him beating anybody besides Tony Ferguson in the top 15. Yo, put some respect on El Kakui's name. I love him. <laughs> I love him, but I want him to retire. Let's get into yeah, it. I think, I think his time is up. Listen. Tony Ferguson needs to retire. We love Tony, but Tony Ferguson needs to retire. Somebody needs to step in and tell him to stop. Stop. Like, I feel terrible for him because he went on that 12 fight win streak. He was the interim champ, never got to unify it, never got to have the Habib fight. But now at this point, he's on a five fight losing streak, got killed by mm -hmm. Michael Chandler. And you guys have to be honest, when you seen him against Nate Diaz in his last fight, like Nate is Nate. Like he's not like anybody in this top 15 at all. You know what I mean? Like he was getting pieced up. Like when Nate was actually like pushing the pace, he was getting pieced up. So let me ask you this. Can Tony now, does he not have a place as far as like, he can fill the role now that Nate does, you know what I mean? rabid fan base rabid fucking fan base people love him right and it's not necessarily about him winning or losing people just love to see him no and, you right. know what i mean listen <laughs> el kakui all right so first of all this hurts my heart on some mm -hmm. real shit because el kakui <laughs> was my favorite fighter for a fucking number of years right and i've been through this before with my favorite fighter prior to fucking el kakui which was BJ fucking Penn. A lot of you new cats getting into um, MMA, you might have seen BJ Penn like last like one or two fights. PJ Penn was a fucking monster. He was an absolute mm -hmm. fucking terrorist. He was on the terrorist watch list. 
the prodigy, <laughs> you know, like that motherfucking dude, man. Um, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard. Yes. Do I want to see Tony keep getting pieced the fuck up? No. But at the same time, he was doing all right. You know what I mean? He won the first round. Sounds Did he not good. win the first round? Sounds good. Nate Diaz, though? Right. That's not really a feat, in my opinion. He won the first round, I think, as well um, against Chandler. Correct. But listen. he, was, he was, Yeah, he was piecing up Chandler in the beginning, but... He did win that first round. He hurt round. Chandler. Correct. He did score a knockdown. But as a whole, you've got to stop playing. You're, you sound as delusional as him. You've got to let mm. it go, bro. You've got to mm. let it go. You know how Listen, much we love Listen, my name is Tony. not Elsa. I don't have to let it go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't want to see it happen to Tony. I was there against him versus Nate. And it was sad. If you remember, I called you through the third round and was like, I never want to see Tony Ferguson fight again. I want him to retire. Facts. Because when Nate was connecting. Let me ask you this, though. The fans were going fucking crazy for Al Kukui, were they not? We love him. That's never a doubt. I think that's why it's time for him to put the gloves up, bro, because he already has mental issues. Like, we've already witnessed it, bro. And getting hit and pieced up in the head more, that's not a good look. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to... Knock some shit right. No. <laughs> <laughs> we got to let that man live. He, you know yeah, what I mean? Gotta, like, he, he has young sons. Blood, yeah, he has young sons. Preserve the... You know, keep your chickens. Hey, why are you trying to stop this man from making a living? Find something else to do. He could, he could coach. <laughs> he could be a coach at 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu. Open his yeah. own gym. I'm sure he'll be fine. Yeah, Shout I don't want to see him. Eddie. I just don't mm-hmm. want to see him get beat up and pieced up anymore. Speaking of that, I know that the Invitational is coming up with Gordon Ryan. That already have a jiu-jitsu match? No, it's coming up in December, December 15th. Yeah. Oh, they finally got the tickets up. Let's see what they're running for. I went to the Invitational number two. Danny and I went there, and we seen Anthony Pettis. Your boy Jorge mm. was supposed to be there, but he didn't come. And they broke it down. Street it's like, Jesus. Stop. I'm so sick of you. <laughs> I'm so sick of you and Kobe Covington. Speaking of that, where's that man? Where's that man, Dimitri? That man been MIA, bro. About to get that paid. He's ducking Chamaya, bro. He ducking Chamaya. Shot? Listen, you should always want d- duck a cum shot. <laughs> Unless you're about that life. <laughs> That that's the fight that I wanted to see the most. <laughs> Next one, honestly. What? What? Hamza. Hamza, yeah. Hamza? Versus uh, versus uh, homeboy. You know Kobe? what happens? Because we know because we know Usman gonna run it back. I'm telling y'all right I now. Think, I think your boy Leon is trying to get out of the way of Usman and trying to beat up fucking Street Jesus. Oh yeah. And if I were him, I would too. Yeah. He, nice. he knows that he can beat points. Jorge. He knows I he can beat that. Jorge. Listen, we want to talk about having real conversations. Mazo Dog's got to go. He still has you more in so? the tank than, than um, he still has way Kukui. more in the tank than Tony. Yeah. When's the last time you want to fight? He got out wrestled. He what didn't year? get knocked out. He didn't what get dominated. Year? You weren't seeing what him get year? punched in the head. What year? 2019, maybe. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Here the one minus the four times eight <laughs> square root of pi to the tenth power. Mm. So you're oh, saying yeah, you should go I was based right. Off his it record, was 2019. Though? Oh, four years ago. Cool. Cool story. Awesome. Yeah. Well, he fought for the championship twice and lost, and then he lost to Covington. Listen, I never thought that Mazda was that good. Wait, 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 wait. First of all, he didn't lose, all right? He got sent to fucking Pluto. He got sent to Narnia. You're right. <laughs> I forgot. All right. How can I forget? How can you forget? How can I forget? <sighs> that was one of the worst knockouts I've ever just... Boom! That was like a, like, just a like notch he left below... Aspirin. Yeah, well, no, that was just like a notch below fucking your boy fucking Nganu tried to decapitate fucking the Ream. Speaking of the Ream, popped again after his <laughs> kickboxing fight with his what? rival at Glory. Yeah, 
he popped again. No way. Oh Damn, man, goodness. that boy went over yes. there and got right back to it. <laughs> he was like, no Yasada, say got less. Got that horse meat. <laughs> <laughs> got that horse meat in him, you know. Uh, that's what he that's said it was. Best physique I've ever meat. seen. Yeah, I mean, I would love to see Hamzat versus Kobe. I've told Jace a hundred times, Hamzat Chemayev all day. I don't care what y'all say. When he takes mm. your boy, when he out wrestles your boy, I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear nothing. Mm. I don't think he out. I don't think he out wrestles Kobe. I, don't I know. mean, them, Dag- listen, them Dagestani wrestlers even are really, different, bro. He didn't even really out wrestle Gilbert though. He didn't want to take Gilbert on the floor. His jujitsu I mean, wasn't Gilbert, up to par. Yeah, Gilbert's kind of nice on the ground. I'm not going cap. Yeah, you seen? There's a Gilbert's moment a in. There's a moment in the first round where, or it might be the second, but Hamzat goes down there and so quick, Gilbert was already trying to lock up an arm bar and you see instantly panic come over Hamzat's face and he gets back up. Like he stands back up. Like he didn't want to be down there with him like that. Like, uh, you know, Burns isn't just like your average jujitsu. Like he's the one like Abu Dhabi. Like he's really good. He's he didn't want to be down there with him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like, I understand that. So he decided to throw caution to the wind and bang with him. But Kobe Covington is super small for the weight class. Right. And you're telling me that he's going to out wrestle Gilbert. I mean, that he's going to out wrestle Hamzat. If he wants to, he can, but I think he negates his wrestling, and I think he pieces cum shot the fuck up because I don't think cum shot's boxing is great by any means. The length, come on. Mm. If if I think if, it's Kobe better than Kobe. Listen, if Kobe, Kobe can get boxing. in, I think Kobe, Kobe Covington is only successful with his boxing because of people knowing that he's going to shoot the takedown. Mm-hmm. Why would it change? But he has to get in. That man has length and gonna, size all over Kobe. I'm going to need y'all to put some respect on Kobe's name. When that matchup comes, I'm, down, just, to, I'm down to put some money on it. Yeah. <laughs> who, who you going with, Damien? Oh, I'm going with Kamsa. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's an easy Look at my right face. There. Mark it down. That's an easy thing. Mark it down. Kobe, Kobe takes out Kobe gonna be shot all day. Kobe going to look scared in there. Yes. Yes. Scared. It's terrified. Gonna scared. Why would he You're be You're going to see it in his eyes. <laughs> He's a bigger no. man. He's a bigger Listen, man. Listen, I think y'all are, 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 well, again, I don't know him that, I don't, I don't know them like that. Apparently, you know a lot of people in MMA. <laughs> um, here, here, here's the real shit, right? Y'all are taking the persona of Kobe that you don't like, but like your boy Joe Rogan always says, yes, he talks a lot of shit. But this motherfucker can fight. Do y'all forget when he pieced the fuck up out of Robbie Lawler? He beat the brakes off that nigga. He held him up against the cage and clinch worked would, him. Yes. I'm, I'm not downplaying his capabilities. He landed the most strikes ever. That's a lie. Max Holloway has fight. all three. Try again. In the welterweight division, you let me finish. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why girls never I'm, let me finish. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, damn, what was I saying? Oh, I'm not saying that Kobe can't fight. Kobe's a great fighter. I think he's great, but I just think Kamzat's going to be better in all, like, overall in every yeah. aspect. Yeah. That's how I feel. You like think I- he's... Okay, so let me ask y'all this. On a scale of 1 to 10... Where would you rate cum shots striking? On a scale from one to ten. We haven't seen much of it. And he we, was able yeah, to stand there with, with Gilbert and did just fine. And, and he was able to oh, take right big here. shots too. He was able to take big shots from but, Gilbert. Yeah. But That's that fight was mostly on the feet. So on a scale of one to ten, Gilbert based is. off of that oh, based off of that one fight, I'd probably give him like a six, seven. Because we haven't seen enough of it to be able, like all of it has been on the ground, ground and bounding. Six, seven. Okay, so let me ask you this. If you have him, oh, I'm sorry, Damien, I want to steal you. You are actually the striker here. You tell me. Well, yeah, like Sky said, we haven't seen very much of his striking. It's hard to say off of the one fight because, I mean, he was piecing Gilbert up. I'm not going to lie. He had him up against the fence and he had Gilbert looking scared. And I would say I'll give him maybe like a seven in the striking. And I would give, okay. I'll give Kobe a six. Wow. I would put Kobe 
Kobe one one wow. one notch like underneath them. Even though Kobe has more experience stand up striking than Kamza has, I feel like Kamza has the power and the length and the technicality behind it. We, I'm definitely the contrarian here. <laughs> seems like it is a theme here but it's okay because it's hard being right it's but the we, way the world we'll on your shoulders that's the thing though when, when the matchup happens we're gonna we're gonna put a little something on it man because i'm feeling a little confident over here <laughs> yeah. oh okay yo gas yourself up say your <laughs> prayers eat your vitamins facts facts well we're absolutely excited to see what happens this weekend between Stephen wonderboy thompson versus kevin holland let's go holland Let's go Holland. Jace, Jace. Let's go Big Mouth. I want to hear him talking in there in the ring while he's piecing him up. And yeah, he's going to be like, oh, shit, fuck, damn. damn. <laughs> and he probably he will might. be saying stuff like he that. Might. Yeah, Ooh. I mean, the whole card really actually is good. I'll definitely be watching it from start to finish. It's going to be a regular start time. And we will definitely be back on Wednesday. Next week, going back over, recapping everything that's happened here. And we'll see who's right. We'll see who's wrong. Jace claims that he's always right, so we'll see. He always going He always going for the opposition, too. He always going for the ops. <laughs> ops. <laughs> hey, like I say, man, it's hard work being right all the time. All these haters <laughs> in the house trying to get on my level. But again, y'all hey, y- y- keep striving for greatness. Hashtag LeBron. Anyways, we are out. We'll see you guys next week. Peace. Bye-bye.